Hey, Soul Fam, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are wonderful. This is your first time checking out my channel. What is up, guys? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone is good. I hope you guys are enjoying the first day of summer. Well, it's the first day of summer where we are. Um, but I don't know where it is. You guys can let me know. Um, how you're doing in the comments. If you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, so you know me. Your girl's going to spill some tea for you. All right. I know. It's been a little bit since I did spill the tea, actually. I've just been so busy. This week has been extremely busy, but I'm here. I'm dropping some videos for you guys. So go ahead, show some love to your girl. Smash that like button, guys. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started into this video. If it resonates with you, fantastic. If it doesn't, that is okay too, honestly. But if it does resonate, if it does make sense, if it is your story, let me know in the comments, guys. Talk to me. Talk to me. All right. Whoever you're dealing with, guys, this person's feeling very unworthy of you. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. So I'm getting a little bit of like this person's in their ego today. So what is the date today? The date is... Friday, June 28, 2024. Let me know when you're watching this video in the comments. Um, yeah, they're feeling very unworthy of you. This person just looks at you like you're too good to be true or like they don't understand. It's like I don't understand what you see in me kind of feeling. It's like they don't feel like they are deserving of the love that you're trying to give them. So again, this kind of feels like it's this person's problem. Not so much that it's yours, but it just feels like it's this person's problem. Like, I don't know if it's like an insecurity coming through or a flaw coming through, but they're also very indecisive about you or about this connection. I know my ability to make a decision hurts you because they are so in their head about feeling like they're not worthy enough for you or feeling like they can't give you the world or feeling like because whatever happened between you guys, there's no coming back from that. They know they hurt you, you know, and then I have broken. I feel shattered about this situation. So it's like this breakup, this separation, this disconnection between you and this person, it's actually weighing really heavy on them. Again, they might not be showing that this person could be like, oh, my life is so great. I got everything going for me. But it's like underneath all of that, this person is like they could be crying at night over you. But they're really feeling it in their heart. And it's like they're indecisive right now because they want to come speak to you. But I'm just getting this feeling of like they don't know how you're going to react when they come tell you what it is they need to tell you. And what it is that they need to tell you doesn't feel like it's bad. I, I feel like this person really wants to be vulnerable and open up to you. But it's like, can I trust you type feeling is coming through. So interesting. I don't know if that makes sense so far for any one of you, but... That's what I was picking up. What else can I say, please, spirit? What else can I say? What else can I say? What else is needed to said for this video? For this video. They want to call you. For some of you, this person wants to talk to you on the phone. They love hearing your voice. That Your voice is like soothing and it's it, it feels familiar and it feels like at home for them. And it's just like. They like reading you, like reading your energy through the phone. Sometimes you could just talk to someone on the phone and you're like, okay, what's wrong? Like you can just pick up that vibe. You can pick up that energy. It's like hearing your voice. It's like when they, when they tell you whatever they want to tell you, it's like they want to tell you over the phone so that they could hear how you're going to respond to it, right? Maybe that's what pulls them back right now is they're like, I don't know the words to really share what I want to right now. But for some of you, you're going to hear from this person, whoever's on your mind. What? <clears throat> oh, shit. Commitments came through. I want you to be a part of my future. So this person's not going to give up on you. Yeah, they might be dry desert right now going through a tornado, you know, being in their feelings, you know. Being indecisive, crying at night about you, 444 could be an angel number for some of you. But at the end of the day, it's like they know they want to marry you. Hey, baby, I think I want to marry you. All right. Like they have saw that. They, this person is like, it's coming in very strong. Like this person's like, okay, this is my wife. This is my husband. Like I know 
And now I have to get the guts to come forward and tell this person, okay, I feel that way too. I could see my life with you. I can see a whole future with you. And I mean, that's scary, especially if you have not really taken the time to look at that part of your life. Like you've just been doing the same thing over and over and over for years. And you haven't really had to think about making that, that type of commitments where I feel like this person was just like enjoying life, you know, doing whatever, doing whatever they've always done. And then all of a sudden you came into this person's life and it was like, boom, boom. It just exploded. It changed the whole dynamic of this person. And I feel like this person is starting to realize that shit, this person actually means more to me than I've ever let on. So this may be something they actually come back and tell you. I just saw 555. So that could be an angel number. So 444 or 555. What else can I say is the collective message? Yeah. So right now, this person is. You made this person realize that they have flaws. Maybe you made them realize that there are things in their life that they need to change, that they need to really work on. <clears throat> it's like maybe for the longest time, this person never saw your side of the story. They never understood why you acted the way that you did or why you said the things that you did. But it's like the time part has really like shown them. All right, there's some part of me that needs to take accountability for what I did to this person. So like during the separation with you, it feels like this person is finally taking accountability for what they did or like what they didn't do. It's like, okay, I can't just put all the blame on so-and-so. I have to acknowledge that I did some stuff too. What else can I say as a collective message, please, Spirit? What else can I say as a collective message? Yeah, this person, whoever you're dealing with, if this is making sense with you guys, please hit that like button. Support your girl. Um, this person is, they definitely think about how they wish that they could turn back the clock and kind of change the dynamic of the connection or like change how things, like if I could go back and just unsaid what I said or undid what I did, I would have done that knowing what I know now. This person has this fear of like it, it being too late, but it's like, even though they're going through that indecisiveness and they don't know how to really express with words what they're feeling, this person does see marriage with you. They do see you as a life partner. This may be the conversation that's going to be happening for you guys. I heard 24 hours, 72 hours for some of you from the time you see this video. But yeah, whoever this is, it's like, they're like, shit, so-and-so is right. I should have treated them better. I should have, I should have done this. I should have done that. Yeah, they're going to reveal something to you. If you're seeing this video, if it comes across your feed, if it comes across your thing, if you're seeing it on Facebook or YouTube or whatever you're seeing it, um, there's a message in here for you, clearly. If this is resonating for you, let me know in the comments. Let me know your story. Let me know what's going on with your person. I don't know why I just heard Aquarius. That was very random, but whoever this is, it's like, okay, it's like they're getting the courage to really come forward and being like, I have to make the decision. Am I going to come forward towards so-and-so and speak my truth and share what I need to and get past that fear, get past that ego, get past that vulnerability and be able to openly express what it is I need to or am I going to officially just walk away and let this person go be with who I feel like they should be with, right? Because again, they're still feeling a bit like they don't deserve you. So it's like, that's why they're giving off the energy that they are right now that they don't care because it's like, that's the way that they're kind of protecting themselves. What else can I say with this message, please, Spirit? What else can I say with this message? What else can I say with this message? Yeah, it's easier for them to be like, oh, I'm going to detach myself from this or I'm going to let go of this because it's like a, a way for them to protect themselves. It's a way for them to be like, if I push you away, I'm hoping I'm hoping in some way, in some form, you just walk away, you don't come back. But then there's this other part of them that's like, I hope when I push you away that you come back, like you don't actually leave. 
So, but sometimes I feel like this person, this person may have pushed you away and because they pushed you away or because they walked away or ghosted, it's kind of that feeling of now they're regretting that because they wish that they didn't do that. They wish that they were open enough to sit you down and have that conversation. Like this is, this is what's on my mind. This is what's in my heart. This is what needs to change. This is what I'm willing to work on, but I need you to compromise and sacrifice and work on these things. So this is what's going on with this person right now. It's like, I wish I would have just been more honest, been more open. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they were just, they didn't like how things were going with you too. You know, maybe there's a lot of arguments. There was a lot of fighting. Maybe again, they didn't see your side of the story. So, you know, they weren't willing to compromise or they weren't willing to sacrifice with the situation. Anything else? Yeah, but they're feeling that unfinished business with you. They still feel like there's things that you two need to discuss. They don't feel like this is over yet. And maybe that's what they're going to come through and literally say to you. Like, look, I don't feel like this is over between us. I never have. So interesting stuff, guys. I don't know if that resonates with you guys, if that makes sense. But hit that like button, guys. Support your girl. And I'll talk to you soon.